Hi, this is Mo. Welcome back to Philly Changer Chats. Today I'm here with Louis Aloro, a change agent from the Flourishing Center. So, hey, Louis. Hey, Mo. Uh, thanks for coming and chatting with us. I'm like super excited to share about what you're doing here in the city. Cool. Um, so, why don't you just talk a little bit about it and uh, help acclimate people to what you do? Sure. Um, so, I work as a change agent, and primarily that means I facilitate growth and evolution in businesses, schools, community groups, um, and my primary work is to train other change agents. So it's with the, me with the methodology that um, we can help people um, become stronger, more effective facilitators of change for other people. And because everything is changing so fast today, um, we, you know, we feel like we can, we can help navigate that a little bit more smoothly for, for people who, who normally might suffer, stress, or even worse. All right, yeah. Um, are you, so what, what actually brought you into this? Um, so I know that like, this is a very new thing. Mm -hmm. So like what uh, kind of brought you into this kind of like realm of positive psychology? Yeah, so um, I think a, a long time and deep desire to, to help and to heal. Um, I taught high school right out of college, uh, and this was 15 years ago, and I saw, I saw lots of kids not feel good about who they were, and it reminded me of how I felt when I was in their shoes. Mm -hmm. As a teacher, though, you see something quite different than when you're the student, you think it's just you. As the teacher, I saw a, a problem, an epidemic of sorts, and I went on this circuitous route through my 20s, finally discovering the field of positive psychology, which is the scientific and professional movement um, to well-being and flourishing, really by helping people think about how they think and um, and to really kind of bring the locus of control back home, so that people can can be be um, more confident, more creative, uh, have better relationships, all the things that you would say you want more of in your life. Mm -hmm. We can help people attend to um, in a way that uses really the scientific method to see what works and what doesn't and mm -hmm. helping people helping people kick it up a notch essentially. Okay. So and and you're working with uh, with regular people, with business leaders, with students, like all sorts, right? Yeah, so my work since going to the University of Pennsylvania, I'm I graduated in 2008 and I've been an entrepreneur in this field ever since. So for the past 5 years or so, I had been working on a citywide initiative in Cleveland, Ohio, which was okay. an effort to just experiment with bringing this stuff to businesses, to schools, to community groups. We worked in people's living rooms, we worked in public parks, bars, you name, wherever people were at, we wanted to go and see what was it like to facilitate an experience to them, kind of like uh, the mind gym, right? So a lot of people go to the gym and work out their bodies for their physical fitness. Yeah, absolutely. And this is kind of like, well, what happens when you attend to your psycholo psychology, your neurobiology in a similar way, when you when you really push that muscle? So uh, we have to wrap up in a minute, but uh, like really quickly, I'd love to hear kind of like a tangible example. So like, you know, we were really into kind of like this, we're actually gonna take this thing and run with it. Like, is there anything that, that you can share about maybe your experience in Cleveland that like something that really impacted you? Well, I'd rather maybe talk about Philly since we're, you oh, know, yeah. Philly changer That's chats, perfect. you know, I, I, feel, <laughs> I feel called to Philadelphia right now, just like I did to Cleveland when I went there. And, um, one of the reasons why is because this work for me is all about freedom, right? Mm -hmm. It's like un un tapping into my own freedom so that I can, I can get more of what I want. And, and so a, the tangible example mm -hmm. of that is, um, for example, I run um, a certificate in applied positive psychology program. Mm -hmm. We just started a Philadelphia cohort, the first Philadelphia cohort. We, we have 25 students in there for a six month experience into the science of well-being and, and flourishing. And in there you have um, people who run organizations, you have people who, who um, are social workers, you have people who are teachers. In fact, one of the teachers in our program just um, incorporated a, a, a lesson for her fifth graders. Um, it's called the, the choice map that we teach. That's that great. you can go down two roads of, of, uh, on the map. One is a judger mode, which might be our more default mode, mm -hmm. and the other is a learner mode. And when you're down a judger mode, you're asking questions like, what's wrong, what happened, who's to blame, 
what did I do? I'm not whatever enough. And when you go down a learner mode, it's more of a growth mindset. And we teach people the research on just how much a growth mindset contributes to people's to people's well-being, success, and flourishing. So the practical example is teaching this to to carry one of our students, and then her taking it to her fifth graders to teach it. And they have this whole bulletin board that she sent me a picture of <laughs> of the choice map and and the lesson that went around it. She's an art teacher, and I just thought, how awesome That's is so this? That's so great. You know, because yeah. then these kids are these kids are on the playground, and and who knows the choice that they make to to do the right thing then, you mm -hmm. know? Bullies on a playground are bullies in, in business later on. You know, Absolutely. it's like you don't get rid of the bully unless you intervene. Mm -hmm. And and that's really what I do in the world. I'm an interventionist and I design experiences for people in the context of their organization or their school that help people learn to think more expansively. Wow. Well, I feel like we only hit like the tip of the iceberg. So I think probably well, we need to wrap up, but what I want to do is I'll get some information for you. We'll post it with this video so people can learn more about it. Sure. Um, that's what we want to do with these. We want people to get to know what you're doing, get a part of, become a part of this program, and just start applying these things. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, no cool. one is exempt. I like to say no yeah. one, myself <laughs> included, you know, myself mm -hmm. included, it's like, our negativity bias it, and our, um, you know, all sorts of biases that that we can learn to we can learn to change. So thanks, yeah. Philly, change your chat. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming. Yeah. Thank you.